Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the Arrhenius theory of acids and bases. According to Arrhenius, acid is a substance that ionizes in water and produces H plus ions. So, according to Arrhenius, what is meant by an acid? Acid is a substance that ionizes in water and produces H plus ions. Let us see how an acid ionizes in water. So, for example, let us consider the general formula of an acid, HA. So, it ionizes in water and thus produces H plus ions and A minus ions. So, let Ka is the equilibrium constant. So, according to law of mass action, equilibrium constant Ka can be given as So, Ka is the equilibrium constant and its value can be given as the product of molar concentration of products divided by reactants. So, according to Arrhenius, acid is a substance that ionizes in water and produces H plus ions. So, coming to the examples of Arrhenius acids, it includes HCl, H2SO4, acetic acid, etc. All these can be called as acids according to Arrhenius theory. Coming to the base, base is a substance that ionizes in water and produces OH minus ions. So, according to Arrhenius, base is a substance that ionizes in water and produces OH minus ions. So, let us consider the dissociation of a base. Let BOH is a base. Then it dissociates into B plus plus OH minus. So let KB is the equilibrium constant. Then the value of KB can be given as similar to that of KA. It is the product of molar concentration of products divided by the reactants and coming to the examples of Arrhenius base it includes NaOH, KOH, NH4OH etc. All these can be called as Arrhenius bases since they ionizes in water and produces OH minus ions. He defined the neutralization reaction as a reaction which involves the formation of undissociated water molecule. So, according to Arrhenius, neutralization Neutralization reaction involves the formation of undissociated water molecule. Let us consider one best example. So, whenever HCl is treated with NaOH, then what happens? The H plus from an acid reacts with OH minus from a base and it results in the formation of undissociated water molecule then only this reaction can be called as the neutralization reaction according to the Arrhenius so actually whenever HCl is treated with NaOH then it results in the formation of NaCl plus water so, according to Arrhenius, neutralization reaction generally involves the formation of 
undissociated water molecule. At the same time, he defined the degree of dissociation alpha So, according to Arrhenius, the degree of dissociation alpha can be defined as the ratio between the number of molecules dissociated into ions divided by total number of molecules taken. So, according to Arrhenius, the degree of dissociation alpha can be defined as the ratio between number of molecules dissociated into ions to the total number of molecules taken. If the value of alpha is close to 1, then it results in the formation of strong acidic or basic nature. If the value of alpha is low, it represents the weak nature, whether it may be an acid or a base. So, based upon the value of alpha, he classified acids and, and bases into strong and weak. So, let us see the strength of acids and bases. So, coming to the strength of acids. And bases. Acids and bases can be classified into strong and weak. Based upon the value of alpha. Let us discuss about the strong acids, weak acids, strong bases and weak bases. So, according to Arrhenius, strong acid means it is an acid which produces more number of H plus ions. So, if an acid produces more number of H plus ions, then it is called as strong acid. Coming to the good examples of strong acids, it includes HCl, H2SO4, HNO3 etc. On the other hand, an acid which produces less number of H plus ions is called a weak acid. So, an acid which produces less number of H plus ions is called as a weak acid. Weak acids generally includes acetic acid, boric acid, H3BO3 carbonic acid, H2CO3, HCN, etc. Coming to the strong bases, strong bases means they produces more number of OH- ions in water. So, strong bases includes NaOH, KOH, etc. On the other hand, weak base produces less number of OH- ions and the good examples are NH4OH, iron hydroxide, zinc hydroxide, etc. All these are weak bases. This is about the Arrhenius theory of acids and bases. Anyhow, Arrhenius theory is associated with several limitations. 
So, let us see the limitations of Arrhenius theory. So, according to Arrhenius, acids and bases will produce H plus and OH minus ions only in water. So, he explained the behavior of acids and bases only in aqueous solutions. So, whenever if we consider the substances in non-aqueous solutions, he cannot explain the acidic and basic nature of the substances. At the same time, this theory could not explain the acidic nature of substances like CO2, SO2, etc. So, Arrhenius theory could not explain the acidic nature of the substances like CO2, SO2, etc. At the same time, this theory could not explain the basic nature of substances like ammonia, sodium carbonate, etc. This theory could not explain the neutralization reactions which do not involve the formation of undissociated water molecule. Let us see few examples. So, whenever ammonia is treated with HCl, then it results in the formation of ammonium chloride. There is no chance for the formation of undissociated water molecule. So, this neutralization reaction is against Arrhenius theory. Similarly, whenever calcium oxide is treated with carbon dioxide, then it results in the formation of calcium carbonate. Again, no water molecule is formed. So, this reaction is also against Arrhenius theory. At the same time, Arrhenius theory fails to explain the hydration of H plus ions in water which results in the formation of hydronium ion. So, whenever H plus ions are present in water, they undergoes hydration and results in the formation of hydronium ion. So, this theory fails to explain how H plus ions will undergo hydration when they are present in water. So, these are the few limitations of Arrhenius theory. But whenever if we discuss about acids and bases, generally we use Arrhenius concept. So, what we know about the acids? So, if you ask anyone, they will define acid as the substance which gives H plus ions. At the same time, they will define base as a substance which gives OH minus ions. So, in general, we will use the concept of Arrhenius in order to define an acid and a base. So, acid as the substance which gives H plus ions and base will be defined as a substance which produces OH minus ions. That is about the Arrhenius theory and its li limitations. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.